needless to say, it's been a pretty wild week. Going back to last weekend and the events last weekend with the attempt on Trump's life, which when you think about it, could have turned out a whole lot differently if he hadn't turned his head. Then you get to the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, which began this past Monday. And Monday afternoon, President Trump put out on True Social, I should say former President Trump, hopefully soon to be President Trump, put out a statement on True Social that he's picking J.D. Vance as his running mate to be his vice president. J.D. Vance, for you, those of you that don't know, he's a former lawyer, went to Yale Law School, former, I should say he's a retired U.S. Marine. You're never a former Marine. You're a retired Marine. Um, and he wrote a book called Hillbilly Elegy. And that book had a movie made based on it. In fact, Ron Howard directed the movie. Glenn Close and Amy Adams starred in the movie. And it was released, I don't know, three years ago. And needless to say, the critics, well, over on Rotten Tomatoes, the critics didn't like it. But looky there, the audience score. 82%. The audience liked the movie. This is just exactly the opposite of a uh, Disney Plus series that just finished up this week. Where the critics loved it and the audience hated it. But what's really, really crazy is, is that said movie, Hillbilly Elegy, same name as the book, the viewership has jumped a thousand percent after J.D. Vance was named Trump's vice presidential pick, hitting 164,000 views. In fact, um, the BBC has down here that it's reached number six on Netflix's top 10 films the day after J.D. Vance was announced as the vice presidential pick. So that means on Tuesday, it jumped up to number six. I think it's currently like number four, I want to say. Doesn't say here in the Variety article. But people are watching it. They're interested in his story. And why wouldn't you be? I mean, I didn't even know this movie existed. So I may have to check it out, even though it's really not my type of movie, my type of film. Still, though, it's probably worth a watch. Put that on my list of things this weekend. So Hillbilly Elegy trends big on Netflix following the J.D. Vance VP pick. This is from Breitbart, Simon Kent. The feature film version of Hillbilly Elegy, the Ron Howard-directed movie based on J.D. Vance's memoir of the same name, has skyrocketed in popularity on Netflix, being featured on the app's landing page and immediately drawing viewer attention and derision. Hmm. No shortage of Netflix users were thrilled to see Vance's real-life portrayed hardships coming just hours after he rose to broad national prominence after former President Donald Trump chose him to be his 2024 running mate. Vance's, Vance published Hillbilly Elegy, which vividly recounts his impoverished upbringing in the Rust Belt in 2016. In fact, his book, right now, paperback and hardcover, ranked number one and number two on Amazon's bestseller lists. Surprised Amazon isn't fudging the numbers about that. Just, that's my opinion. Just saying. Uh, some of the comments in social media, though. Some good, some bad. 
but here's a few. J.D. Vance's Hillbilly Elegy is number four on Netflix charts. That's from a world to real. Last night I watched hashtag Netflix movie based on the book Hillbilly Elegy to gain an insight into vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance. The story of his Appalachian upbringing is profound to say J.D. Vance has come a long way and it is an understatement. Cry Hard or Variety is very concerned that Hillbilly Elegy is surging on Netflix and Amazon. Uh, I don't, I, I'm not sure there's so much concern about it. Now, Forbes reports the movie version as directed by a beautiful mind Oscar winner, Ron Howard, Hillbilly Elegy released in 2020. There's plenty of plot of the movie. Others raged at Netflix for featuring Hillbilly Elegy so prominently with some threatening to cancel their subscriptions. Oh, cry me a freaking river. There's things on Netflix that I don't want to see that I don't agree with, but I'm still subscribed. Watching Hillbilly Elegy on Netflix to see just how much of a pathetic, traitorous hypocrite this mf -er really is. Netflix just recommended Hillbilly Elegy to me, and now I have to cancel my subscription. Okay, Netflix, are you kidding me? Do I have to cancel my subscription? I logged on to discover that Hillbilly Elegy is the number four movie. Why are you showing it? Are you fascists? God damn it. I guess I have to quit. It's been a great 15 years. Well, to J. Ryan Summers, Roger Zen AF, and Anxious Pickle, you do you. If you think you have to cancel something because you don't like one movie on the platform, then go ahead, cancel. Nobody's stopping you. And this is just the type of thing that the left does versus a sane, rational individual. I just stated, there's things on Netflix I don't like that I don't agree with, but I'm still a subscriber because there's the majority of content that I do like and I do agree with. And that goes for any streaming service, Paramount Plus, Peacock, Prime, E+, any streaming platform. But the left, see what they do is they, I don't like that, so I'm leaving. I don't want to see that because it offends me. I'm leaving. Well, fine. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. That's how I look at it. So this is from Forbes. Hillbilly Elegy surges on Netflix's top 10 list after Trump's J.D. Vance VP pick from Paul Tassi. He goes on to talk about the movie. Uh, the movie adaptation is the number two most viewed film on Netflix almost instantly. After J.D. Vance's VP nomination. Uh, talks about Rotten Tomatoes score being 25%. Got a, a 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb. Okay, so it's average. or just above average. That's not bad. I don't know what this comment's about here. Um, John Nolte over in Breitbart. Variety is furious at Hollywood for creating monster J.D. Vance. See, this isn't supposed to happen, folks. And this is coming from Variety. Vance Penn's Hillbilly Elegy, a corporate media still in shock over Donald Trump's upset 2016 presidential victory. Decide Hillbilly Elegy will help them figure out who these exotic MAGA people are. What followed was the gazillionth example of her journalism as they all gloomed onto the memoir, but not with an open-hearted sense of humility or humanity. Instead, they remained true to the awful people they are and did so in the most condescending way. 
like 19th century British colonialists studying a savage tribe of African headhunters. But the key, and this is important, the key to media and Hollywood elites validating who they are was to civilize the tribal leader, in this case, J.D. Vance. So just like they have succeeded in doing with almost everyone else, the corporate media and Hollywood laid before Vance a vast banquet of wealth, acceptance, status, and access. They made Hillbilly Elegy a bestseller. They made Hillbilly Elegy into a major motion picture directed by an Oscar winner. They made Vance a thought leader on their news and current affairs programs. Along the way, Vance boosted his public profile, his bank account, and his name recognition. The only price for a lifetime pass? You must become one of us. And then Vance took all their prizes and gifts, turned around, and shoved it right up their collective ass to become the number two man in the movement they most hate, MAGA. So yeah. Hollywood's probably not too happy with him right now. Good. Fine. Great. So there you have it. Some people are furious at Netflix because Hillbilly Elegy is trending in the top 10 on Netflix. While other same people are probably going to just check it out. I mean, I, I, like I said, I didn't know about it. I'm going to check it out. So if it's a good story, it's a good story. That's what we want out of our entertainment is a good story. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. While you're at it, take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family, and I will see you later.